Durag Wisdom here ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Y2K 19.09.24 I refuse to normalize the Nazi Trump carnage. I will never forget those early days of the assault on our country. The newly elected accidental president of the USA was talking about eliminating American carnage while shortly later a group of neo-Nazis headed by Richard Spencer were having a spirited meeting which concluded with their screaming Hail Trump followed by a group Hitler salute. I knew that this president was going to be different. Something out of a satirical dystopian horror drama. He would freely use Orwellian techniques which included a double think and revision of history claim that what we had before Trump was American carnage and now what we have afterwards is called Trump bliss. Three horrific years later, this Nazi traitorous president has not only brought us carnage, but has also brought us a realization that our country is on the brink of changing into something so hideous that our founding fathers and mothers are even now roiling in their graves. And most horrific of all, is that this Nazi Trumpist administration is working overtime to normalize, again, to normalize the insane and the stupid, to make of our country the worst reality TV insanity you have ever seen. Trump does not intend to leave. Trump intends to make what he and Putin are doing to our country as normal as possible. Can you imagine having Trump's in our White House for years and years and years from now. Walls, cages, poison planet, child abuse, mass murder are going to be as normal as mom and apple pie. Well, this pathetic schlepper refuses to normalize the creature president and his toxic swamp. I refuse to normalize the stupid, the insane, the ignorant, the fearful, the racist Nazi fiend. I refuse to normalize the Trump carnage. I got some questions here and some of them are going to be speculative. What are we going to normalize next? Well, what do we normalize so far? Well, bulletproof school book bags? We're going to normalize that. Teachers allowed to carry firearms into the schools. Armed guards in movie theaters, shopping malls, and places of worship. Soon, if not now already, armed, ready to go. Tactical officers, ready for poison drinking water. We already have that. Check Flint. Check as far as Newark, New Jersey. Massive flooding where none existed before. Decimating public lands. Accepting reality show over reality. The murder of journalists. Concentration detention camps. And national child abuse. No reading. An ignorant, stupid, racist president of the United States, a thug, an outright thug, normalized, more walls, a lawless Trumpist party, and a kangaroo Supreme Court along with right-wing extremist federal lower courts and their justices to curse the future generations for years to come and theirs and theirs with right wing crap naked ape crap police brutality let's slam the suspect's head into the top of the police car before we let him sit in there or her in there politicians who curse who run for office and stand there and curse that if a public school teacher did that they'd be either fired or disciplined severely 
the creation of the corn pop response. Biden and the corn pop. I'm not going to forget that one. If there wasn't a Trump, a Nazi Trump normalized, there would never have been a corn pop. The tough story of the Biden young lifeguard days working among the savages and corn pop. Yeah, I was the hero of the day. Joey Corn Pop. I, I can't even believe this. I, I'm not I'm not, I'm not sitting in reality. I'm in a movie theater watching some crazy, like I said before, black comedy horror satire about normalizing more and more mass murder. Why don't we also normalize again x-ray passengers who want to board any form of public transportation including trains. Forced religious worship coming soon. The return of back alley abortions coming soon. Right now violating congressional subpoenas. Having a creep like that Lewandowski defy Congress. They should have locked his took us up, dragged him out right then and there, into jail. What's wrong with these dithering Democrats? Get on these fascists, took us now. How about normalizing obstruction of justice? How about normalizing abandoning our allies for dictators? How about normalizing the idea that there are good Nazis? Yes, good ones. Good hard-working ones. And of course, normalizing child molesters like Roy Moore, for example. There's good ones on all sides. There's good garbage on all sides. Sooner than we think. You walk out the door, the Trump carnage and garbage will be stinking up everywhere. Normalized. Normalized. And how about lying is the truth? Orwell is also roiling in his grave. I refuse to normalize the Trump carnage. Please. We've got a little more than 13 months before we have our Y2K 20 presidential elections. We have to vote against this creep. Then and there, we have to stand and vote. Vote for whoever the Democrat dithering, I say, the dithering Democrats decide to run. Or watch our young Democratic Republic sink beneath the fecal ball waves inside a Trump Nazi's solid gold commode. From day one of this Trump traitor's administration, there has been nothing but carnage. And I will never, ever, ever normalize it!